Israel sits atop a geographic trench between two continental plates called the Great Rift Valley. Many earthquakes have occurred along this rift that runs for some 3,700 miles, starting in Turkey and ending in the Arabian Gulf. Our Israeli correspondent dug up some details. Every day on Earth there is an earthquake. Every minute the planet trembles somewhere. Israel is one of the many places around the world where continental plates meet and where the earth is constantly in motion. People who experienced an earthquake in Israel share how they felt. I was sitting with guests and suddenly we felt everything was moving. My library with all the books and glasses inside, everything began shaking. We were startled and didn't understand what was going on until we realized it was actually an earthquake. You just don't know what to do. You try to hold on to this or that, but no one has ten hands. The earthquake experienced recently in Israel registered 3.6 on the Richter scale. That's relatively low, but nevertheless it caused panic and cracks in buildings. Everything was moving, and it felt as if the building was about to collapse real hard. It was very strong. Only someone who experienced it can understand the intensity of it. It's very frightening, very, very. We asked the general manager at the Geophysical Institute of Israel whether it is possible to predict an earthquake in time to warn the public. The answer is no. Earthquakes are unpredictable and anyone who says they are, at least at the current stage of development in research on the subject, well, you might say he's misleading the public. There were cases in the past when, for example, there was a shift in the level of water in wells prior to an earthquake. There were cases in which animals felt something was about to happen. There were cases in which small earthquakes preceded the big one. The problem is all these phenomena are inconsistent. That is, sometimes they occur, but not each and every time. Indeed, today we cannot warn people in advance or prevent earthquakes. But we can minimize the damage if we build properly and according to required strength. Earthquakes themselves do not kill. Buildings kill. If there is a strong earthquake in the desert, people are not harmed. But if there is an earthquake in an urban area and the buildings were not built to withstand earthquakes, it can cause destruction with a large number of casualties up to a national disaster and a shutdown of the economy. Dr. Friesländer further explained. In order to build properly, we must know the ground accelerations which might result from an earthquake. We update the ground acceleration map, which is in the appendix of the Israeli construction standards. Engineers and constructors should build in the area according to the ground accelerations. Will this important lesson be heeded? Will constructors build responsibly with earthquakes in mind? Let's hope so. And let's hope we don't have to check this out in a stronger earthquake. NTD News, Israel.